Welcome to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey, please consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Welcome to another episode of the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. Thank you so much for watching. Finally getting into the new set, guys. Pretty cool. I still got to stain this, put some shelves on the wall, get some whiskey on those shelves, and maybe do some lighting and sound adjustments. But it's great to finally be shooting videos here in the new studio or set. Um, today we have the George Dickel Bottled and Bond Tennessee Whiskey. This is a Bottled and Bond product. For those of you who don't know what Bottled and Bond is, it has to be distilled in one distilling season aged in a federal bonded warehouse for at least four years bottled at 100 proof and has to all be done under the same master distiller. This is also a Tennessee whiskey. Um, Tennessee whiskey is, trying, is kind of separating itself from bourbon. It is made in Tennessee, but what they're doing is pretty simple. They're, it's called the Lincoln County process. This process involves them filtering the whiskey through charcoal chips before it actually enters the barrel or cask. This whiskey right here, the mash bill on it is 84% corn, 8% rye, and 8% malted barley. And this was released not too long ago, it, it, uh, probably a couple months ago. And the availability on it is, uh, they say it's a limited release, but who really knows what that is? George Dickel or the Cascade Hollow Distilling Company is a pretty big they have a pretty big operation going on. So I'm saying that it's probably a pretty good number of bottles being released. For example, Angel's Envy Rye, it's a limited release rye, but I think they put out 96,000 bottles. So it's quite a few. So if you are wanting to get your hands on this, I would say it is obtainable. This is a 13 year bottled and bond whiskey. Pretty rare. Pretty, pretty rare having a bottled and bond. You don't find too many bottles and bonds with a 13 year age statement, which is pretty cool. And also the MSRP on this is around 40 bucks, 35 to 40 bucks. I think I picked this one up for around $40. Um, with that being said, we'll get into the color, nose and taste of this whiskey. All right, on the color, it's pretty dark guys. It's like a dark copper, maybe even leaning towards a, a dark, a really dark amber, dark, dark copper, and maybe even a mahogany color. It's, it's pretty dark. It's a 13 year whiskey. So you expect it to be darker. Um, see how it's coated in glass. It seems to be very viscous. It's got nice thick legs, nice color, nice viscosity on this whiskey. Let's get into the nose. Dart right on the nose. The, no the nose on this whiskey is, is it's a little light. And, and saying that, I'm, I'm kind of sticking my nose all the way in the glass. It's because it's a little light. Not saying there's not pronounced uh, aromas coming off this whiskey. It's just a little light. It's not jumping out of the glass. Definitely get a nice prominent, a nice oak note on this. A nice corn note, some butterscotches, a mustiness to it. It has a, 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 an old musty note on the, on the nose also. Vanillas and caramels there. Maybe even a little bit of clove. There's nothing really um, dark about the nose on this, like a, like a dark fruit or any kind of fruity notes or anything like that. The, the, the most, like the, I would say the darkest notes you're getting on this is the musty, the musty corn, mu old barn mustiness and the musty, the musty oak. It's, it's, it's a little musty on the nose. It does have maybe a little bit of a honey note there also. A 
Once again, it's just caramels, vanillas, honeys, and it's got a musty corn note and a nice, a nice oak note on it also. Let's get into the taste. All right, on the taste, cheers. All right, right away on the front of the palate, it's the sweetness, the caramels, vanilla, maybe even a little bit of honey. Mid palate, it goes to like a burnt, musty, chalky corn note. And on the finish, I'm getting like a like a a, a nice oak note, but that mustiness and corn chalky note kind of rolls on into the back of the finish and kind of lingers. Very viscous, got a very nice velvety mouthfeel on this whiskey. The mouthfeel is great and I would say the finish is leaning towards maybe the long side. Let's go in for another sip. Cheers. Very consistent, very consistent, sweetness up front, mid palate, gets kind of funky and weird. And I, I wanted to refrain from saying this, but it you can't, you cannot ignore it. It has a Flintstone vitamin note on this whiskey, that chalkiness in, 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 in the middle, in the mid palate that kind of drags through drags through into the finish a little bit. Um, a lot of people have said, and I've, I've watched several different reviews on this, and uh, I've talked to some people about this whiskey. Um, the Flintstone vitamin note, if you do remember it as a kid, I do, it's definitely there. Um, I tried to refrain from saying it in this video, but I, I feel like it would be doing a total disservice if I didn't say it. And it's definitely there. But I, I think also on the mid palate, it's just not that chalky, um, a little off putting Flintstone note. Um, there is like a, a, a corn note and a mustiness there also. It kind of drags on the finish and the, the lingering the end of the finish. And what really lingers in the mouth, unfortunately, is that Flintstone note, the chalkiness. Um, there is a little bit of oak, but the, the chalky weird vitamin Flintstone note is definitely there. I'm going for another sip. Cheers. Once again, up the front of the palate is just sweetness. Caramels, honeys, vanillas. Mid palate goes into the musty corn Flintstone vitamin note and it rolls off into the finish with a nice oak note the, the oak note's very nice on this whiskey it's not overbearing it is a 13 year 13 year whiskey and to me I, tw after about 12 years you're going in the danger zone of the whiskey just being over overly oaked or overly woody and this is definitely not the case the oak note is very nice but the lingering mustiness in, in the Flintstone vitamin chalkiness, it, 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 it kind of takes away from that great wooden oak note that's on the whiskey. All right, guys, my final thoughts on the George Dickel Bottled and Bond Tennessee whiskey. Without a doubt, a tremendous value. 35 to 40 bucks for a 13-year Bottled and Bond whiskey, kind of hard to beat. For me, the Flintstone vitamin note mustiness was a little bit off-putting, probably won't be one that I go back to time and time again. With that being said, it's going to wrap this one up. If you are a subscriber, I greatly appreciate your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers.